guys do is call Mary at City Hall and it'll get to the right place, I'm quite certain. Because I know those guys don't want lines being disrupted. It's a lot easier to cut them first. And they also don't want you doing it. Thanks, sir. Uh, Ms. Perkins is next. Certainly, I agree. Our, our people are going to do their jobs, but there may be a pocket somewhere that's missed. And um, I, it, it, this question reminds me of something that really sort of compelled me to become a commissioner. I can remember coming to the commission, oh, it must have been in the mid-90s, because I was taking my child to Lee's preschool and I almost got run over by a car. They were using it as a thoroughfare. And I came to the commission, I complained about it, why can't you stop those cars from coming through there and speeding? And Gerald Criswell, commissioner then, was standing on the corner of 235 and Lee's preschool the next morning. I admire that in him, and I want to be that type of commissioner. So if you have a concern like that, come to me, and I will step out there for you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Wilford. I look at a sort of two-part question. If, uh, if the city starts going cutting down limbs, uh, it happens to be around my yard. I think I'm owed an explanation of what they're doing, and I think uh, at least that takes care of because once the trees cut down, it don't grow back next week, or the, or the limbs don't. Uh, I think the other thing is uh, I've heard people say, "Call me, call me, call me," and I, I'm gonna be accessible as your city commissioner, but really, you need to call Tracy Kane. Tracy Kane is the city manager, and she's the department that should be responding to that. Then if she doesn't respond then I think then the city commissioners should be involved. Uh, too often, city commissioners everywhere get involved in day day operations, and if we don't allow the staff to do their job, we're supposed to set policy as commissioners, and they're supposed to execute that policy. Is this a question? Yeah, the gentleman who wrote that would like to have the, I guess, candidates answer the question. I guess she can go back and ask again, but he's, in, he's concerned about, I guess, condition of roadways and what to do about that, that kind of stuff, not just about limbs in particular, but the condition of the roads around the city. Okay, um, would you like to um, uh, start again? Uh, <laughs> I guess just move to your next list, your next question number, and just start back in that order, in the order of the question number, the next one down. Okay, okay, uh, Mr. Bukhari, would you like to uh, then um, expound on that uh, as far as not only limbs or power lines but streets and, and other things. Yeah, uh, roads are a problem. I know every time I uh, drive through a pothole, um, that, that's an issue. I know that the, uh, the street out here in front of uh, the tennis courts, the basketball court, and out to Capital City Bank there, that road is being fixed. Downtown Redevelopment Board is going to do it. Uh, I guess we're going to have that taken care of, sidewalks and all kinds of great things. Uh, but there's a lot of other places in this community that need fixing potholes there's roads that are messed up and i would say the best thing that i uh, that we could do and what i'm going to do to address it or see what type of grants and funding are available to fix our roads uh, things are crunching it's, it's, it's local and it's national so there's not just this uh this uh, endless account of money to do those things but temporarily if there's potholes we need to fill them and we need to make sure, in my opinion, that we have a crew out constantly that's filling potholes, uh, taking care of those temporarily until we can do something that's uh, a, a permanent fix. Uh, so that would be my solution, and to look for funding to try and fix our roads. It's definitely a problem, and it's something I plan on addressing in my first year as a commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kane. So what would you do to make sure that all areas are looked at uh, as far as the condition of streets? And well, one thing that I would say is that the way these problems get addressed is through the budgetary process. And if you look at the city budget, uh, the amount of money that is dedicated to fixing roads and streets is very small compared to the amount of money that's spent on a lot of other things. And, uh, you know, uh, I, think, I think where we would really stand to gain is if, we, if more citizens would get involved, in the in the budget process and to, to have more workshops to talk about how do we want our money to be spent because 
you know, we, we have a pretty good sized budget in Alachua and it's a matter of prioritizing that budget. And I think sometimes things don't get the kind of uh, the level of funding that they should get. So it, it, if roads are not being fixed to the satisfaction of the citizens, they need to be coming to meetings, they need to be involved in the process and say, I want my money going towards this instead of this other stuff you're all spending my money on. So part of it, it has to come from the public. I think the commission does have a responsibility to to see that the budget um, is pro properly prioritized. And I don't think our streets get enough. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, Ms. Perkins. Again, I still stand with what I'm saying. I think that it is the role of the commission to speak for the people. Yes, I, I, we have a city manager, and yes, we have employees who are supposed to be doing their job, and hopefully they are for the most part, but if there ever is the occasion when they are not, I think the citizens should feel comfortable with coming to their commissioners who are put there to represent them. Thank you, ma'am. Um, we are going to Mr. Wilford next. I think we need to do an assessment of all the roads and uh, I think prioritizing the budget may be the answer, but there's a dirty word that people don't want to hear. If we need to fix all of our roads and they truly need to be fixed, uh, we may have to consider a bond issue to get all the roads fixed, uh, which costs money. And people don't like going to debt for that. So I think putting band-aids on the roads may be the best answer right now. Go fix the holes with temporary stuff and keep going back and fixing them. Just don't let the holes get bigger and bigger and bigger because they do have stuff that adheres fairly well. Nowadays that you'll see a lot of cities do that. Your main roads obviously need to be kept very clear to where traffic can uh, travel very fast. At least the side roads don't get as much traffic. So I think we do need to assess all of our roads and then determine in the budget itself whether we're going to be able to do it or whether we're going to have to do a bond issue to fix all of our roads. Okay, thank you, sir. Mr. Hill. Uh, roads and infrastructure are second on my list of priorities. First, there's fire and safety, police and, and uh, fire department. And then there's um, public utilities and uh, tra and infrastructure. And this is infrastructure. So it, it should be right there. It should be the second thing you're spending money on. Uh, but there are some technical issues, just to let you know. Uh, and first of all, the downtown redevelopment board is doing 150th and 142nd out to whatever that road is right there, 441. <laughs> and uh, we've been working on that for three years, I think. But it's a it's a it's a difficult issue, and it takes a lot of cooperation from a lot of people, and it involves parking too. Then the Lions Club is a big uh, participant in that. But that's going to be nice and you're going to like it. The other technical thing is our swales have filled up in the city. So what's happening is all the water staying on the road. You're not going to want to hear that part, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, moving on to the um, next question, and that is to Mr. Hill. Oh. More of one in. Okay, how do you plan to manage future growth in Alachua while maintaining the city's unique character and sense of community? Well, that's always a difficult one, but you know geography helps us here. One of the best things that Alachua has going for it is that Main Street is not on 441 or 235 like other cities. And that just, that saves us as a matter of fact. And because it's like that, we can keep this whole area of the city as quaint as we want it to. We're not going to have the traffic that most people, that most cities have. Um,